All right, all right. Welcome back. In this uh, specific episode, we're going to talk about um, uh, petroleum and uh, crude oil and um, eventually learn how to make plastic out of it. And uh, obviously this is uh, a late game thing. Uh, you wouldn't be making uh, plastic uh, early in the game. Uh, as you see, I'm in cycle 500 plus here, 502. So um, I would normally expect somebody to be able to do plastic at around maybe 250 or 300 if they really want to. Uh, but it, you know, it does depend on how you want to, to play the game, obviously. Uh, and I'm getting a little... <laughs> that, that's the issue with uh, getting later in the game. It's uh, you're getting a little bit of a lag. So the first things first, so the first thing you need to do obviously is go down uh, below and um, you know, uh, drill into the map and uh, go, go down a lot and you'll eventually find uh, crude oil that's on the bottom of your map. If you can see here by pressing Alt and S, you can actually zoom out and kind of see the, the map here. See that we are actually close to magma, which means basically close to the very, very uh, center of uh, the asteroid dot or whatever we are on which is super hot, obviously. But um, at some point you will find crude oil as you go down. And uh, it is there where you, first, first thing you do, you set up a pump. And that pump will get the crude oil. And you will see that I'm pumping it over here, going up, and eventually taking it to uh, my oil refinery. And the oil refinery actually gets the crude oil and converts it into petroleum. Uh, and a little bit of natural gas, that's, that's why, I, why I'm having it here in my natural gas geyser so that I can actually use it later on. And it does get a, get a little bit hot, but not hot enough so that it requires uh, a cold biome. It's just fine over here. And uh, this thing uh, eventually pumps uh, petroleum. And um, I, I do pump that. As you see here, this is the petroleum uh, pump. You see going up, 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 up eventually reaching my polymer press and this thing does get hot this thing gets gets super super hot so if you actually just built it somewhere and you don't take take measurements around how hot it gets uh, it will melt down uh, regardless of whether it's uh, in uh, you know made out of gold or um, it doesn't really matter or even if you are um, in the ice biome it will probably eventually melt so what you need to do uh, is uh, if you are in the ice biome, you also need to drip some water on, on, onto it. The other mechanism that I'm using here, and I think it's by far the most superior one, you see that the temperature is actually zero at the moment and it's working full speed. Um, so I'm using the anti entropy thermal nullifier, which obviously produces uh, pretty much cold um, or an, an icy environment, I should say. Just by, you know, the way you do it is just by, sorry, just by uh, pumping some, uh, and I don't even know where there is oxygen here, but that's a bit weird. Uh, yeah, but just pumping um, hydrogen in, onto it, that's probably why it has a little bit of a damage, probably have to fix that at some point. Anyway, <laughs> but uh, uh, this is where you pump your, um, your hydrogen and this thing produces um, a cold environment around and as you see everything is super cold. And what you want to do is you want to use the, the temp shift plates, which as you see here they accelerate the buffer heat dispersal depending on the construction material used. And you have to use uh, wolframite here. So your uh, um, temp, temp, shift, temp shift plates should be made out of wolframite. Uh, you see here, that's because it has an awesome thermal, co thermal conductivity and this means that uh, any, any um, coldness that's actually emitted by this, by this thing will be traversed uh, very quickly to the polymer press, like immediately. And so this thing stays, stays really cold, you see, I mean it's, uh, it's, it's still working full speed and it's uh, less than uh, uh, zero, which is insane, that's awesome, you can produce uh, plastic for days. Um, and yeah, just just pump out um, uh, you know the carbon dioxide as you normally would. Um, you know you, that's that's super easy. I mean there are many ways to do it. But um, yeah, in short that is, and that's the, that's the thing. And um, you can see that you can make all sorts of uh, great things here, like comfy, comfy beds and all that. Um, there's there's really a lot that you can do with plastic. So that's probably, I would definitely the, like the best, the, the next step in the game. So yeah, examine, examine that, play with it, and uh, just just make sure that your polymer press is uh, well, you know, well cooled, cooled off.
uh, <clears throat> it's in a very cold environment. That's it for this. And uh, obviously I'm getting the lag again. Uh, try it, let me know how it works. And um, I'll see you soon in the next video tutorial about this uh, great game. <laughs> see you soon, guys. Bye.